What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be focusing on messages pertaining to money, career path, and success. And if you're seeking more financial abundance in your life, then this is going to be the message that you need to hear today. So the question you want to ask yourself is, what do I need to know from my higher self or universe in order to seek and obtain the life that I desire when it comes to money, abundance, success, and even your career path? So today it's going to be a little bit of guidance from all different directions, but mainly focusing on more abundance and more success and money in your life. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, shout out to the Tarot Tribe. Don't forget to hashtag down below Tarot Tribe if you guys are new to the channel so that we can embrace you and welcome you. And we're almost at the 200,000 mark. And it's about around the same time that I started my channel last year. So those of you who have been with me since then, I just want to give a warm gratitude and love for you supporting my message and my channel. It never goes unnoticed. And some of you, I already reached back out to you and thank you. And especially on my Instagram, if you guys are not following me, Instagram, the tarot priest, because I do actually get back to a lot of different people. And sometimes I just open up my phone and spirit leads me to release a message to somebody and I send it to them and it's amazing. So I try to interact more there. So follow me on Instagram. So you can follow my website, thetarotpriest.com to find any information on merchandise, on coaching, my life coaching sessions, and everything that I have going on, the Soul Journey webinar that we do every single month. We're going to be talking about manifesting your dreams in the upcoming months and really just obtaining the life that you desire to live or what you're inspired to do here. So I have a lot of really cool things going on. Don't forget to follow me at the Tarot Priest so that you can see what is in store for you. All right, so let's hop into today's reading and see what you guys have in store for money, career path, and success. We have four different decks to choose from. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. All right, if you guys need more time, you can always pause the video. If you need the timestamp to a specific deck, you can scroll down to the pinned comment below also. All right, let's hop into today's reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in money, success, and career path. And the reason why I'm smiling is because I'm already feeling the energy from your deck. And it feels really good. Really, really good energy. All right, so let's look at career messages, all the above. All right. The Empress. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious and abundant resources. So some of you have opportunities around you, specifically in business, that is going to give you the ability to make more money. The Empress is a mother, but also realize that birth is like a project as well. So you have a new project that's either around that you're starting or coming in. Yeah, so you're going through a rebirth. We have the 10 of swords, endings, new cycles. So if some of you are going through a financial deficit, it is causing you to have to make a decision to choose. This new project is allowing more creativity. It's going to allow more abundance in your life. So you'll know what this is, but there is a little bit of confusion. We have a spiritual card here. We have the aloneness. Some of you are being asked to, some of you are being asked to either relocate or move away from others because it's like when you're having a new project, it's very important that you have specific energy around a new project that you're building or you have in your life. There's going to be a lot of change coming. So if you are experiencing something, because I am seeing something new and something ending in your life around finances, whatever it is, it's causing you to see money differently. It's the hangman. So this is like a spiritual pit stop trying to get you to kind of see money differently. So this next project or this next reality that you create for yourself will be abundant and luxurious. Some of you, if you've started projects in the past, I'm specifically talking about 
allowing things to end so new beginnings can start in career path for you. Some of you are going to be taking a new career path. A different perspective is necessary as well. Now let's see what else is here though, because remember what is important to you when it comes to money and success. Your version of it is very homey, love, family, unity, holidays together, a beautiful home to raise a family. I see a lot of unity here, a lot of love. And so when you think about abundance, abundance doesn't just mean money. This means just like enjoy. So they're saying, your guides are saying, remember what is important to you. So if you're having financial changes right now, you're being asked to release the things that are no longer important to you. Okay. What's really important. And they're saying it's in your soul. It's what you love. It's what makes you feel at home. It's the warmth. And maybe that's why when I first touched this deck, I'm like, why do I feel so happy? Like, wow. But I'm also realizing that spirit is trying to get you to be grateful for the smaller things. And it's not that you're not, it's just sometimes you have to remind yourself that you are grateful for such small things in your life. And you're gonna start seeing material changes and financial changes very quickly. You're getting rid of and you're releasing cycles of doubts, cycles of beliefs. One in particular, I'm afraid to lose things. I'm afraid to not have things. I'm afraid of not having security. Once you remove the security blanket, it allows you to connect more deeper with your higher self, which can give you the guidance you need to obtain the wealth that you're looking for. But it requires your hope. So if you're in a financial situation right now, it is very important that you plant seeds of hope, that you release the doubts, the limits, the fears you have around success and money and start hoping for change. Start hoping to start seeing things differently. Remember love. Yeah, even memories of love. We have six of cups, memories of love. This would be six of cups. Think about what it is all about. Some of you, it's important for you to change how much you work. Allowing yourself more time to do the things that you enjoy will make you feel more successful. Okay, so your, your vision is completely being changed this year in awareness. So you're starting to see things clear and you will. The more you accept these changes and these endings and cycles of doubts and beliefs around money and abundance, it's going to help you create a new reality. So all of this is happening just so that you can become the empress and create a new, more richer, abundant reality. Let's see what else is going on here. The tower, the queen of wands. Yeah, so you guys are embodying the queen of wands energy. You're embodying that. And a lot of the things you're releasing and a lot of the layers that are being removed are allowing you to see clear and allowing you to have more creativeness. Now, this type of creativeness is a magician. Okay, I want to be clear here. This is not just like a normal painter that would paint on a drawing board. This is someone who has a wand in her, her hand and magic in her in her palm so this is someone who has the ability to change their reality so what's happening right now is you're and it is painful it is painful to see the things that you thought were important to you that were successful then may change or may be changing but they're saying take it one step at a time even in your career path one step at a time they're saying your career path should align with you embracing creativeness, even if you don't feel like you're a creator, a painter, a singer, not that type of creativeness. See, that's what happens when we label words, we get them confused. Creativeness is also creating. Remember the word God is a creator. Just the word God is a creator. So that is a big deal. So if you are a creator as well, 
then we have to embrace the greaterness of creativity. It's more than just talents is what your guides are saying. That's not the creativity. It's the ability to change your life very quickly. So they're saying how focus on the things that you love strength in reverse. You could be a Leo. You don't have to, you don't have to be a Leo, but you could be also, I did see Aries. So some of you, you may, again, I do see that you're going through a hurdle. You're either just now taking the jump or you're getting ready to take the jump. And basically I'm seeing that there is going to be an opportunity for you. There is going to be a, also two opportunities. I see one in just an entry or an entry level or something that is not full time. It just seems like a less serious job that is allowing more creativeness. And so whether you guys are cutting your hours, going to a part time or working less so that you can create more, the things that you love to do and do create more time for you to do the things you love to do because there's a lot of family here. There's a lot of things that you're desiring to do outside of just work. So I do see a couple of opportunities. One is coming in from, again, the part time and more creativeness on an entrepreneur endeavor or something that would be bringing in something for you because the queen of wands is not just here magically. I mean, maybe she did magically appear, but that is the point. That is who you are. You are a magician. So you're waking up to the magic within high priestess. This is a very high energetic spiritual card. So all of these things you're going through are to build your intuition and your trust and your assurance in money and trust in safety of the universe. You're trusting that money doesn't just come from work. It comes from people wanting to invest in you. It comes from miracles, magic. It just happens. I don't know. This lady, I just met her and next thing you know, she's giving me a hundred dollars. I mean, I do it all the time. People never expect it, but that's the point is that you have the ability to create that magic in your life. And so spirit is taking you through this so that you can, it's a spiritual journey of waking up. Okay. Ten of Michael, again, endings. A situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. So this is an opportunity to wake up to the truth of money and abundance and that you can create it very quickly. Just as you can create poverty, you can create abundance. It's just that it's harder to see because of some mental blockages I'm seeing here with doubting and fears of lack and not having. And that's why they're saying now this time this year, you have to trust, you have to trust the reflection of the insight that you have that provides valuable information. So be at peace. And when you're at trust and when you're at peace, true peace, you don't worry about abundances, abundance and where it's going to come in money. When you're at true peace, you just know you don't know how, but that doesn't mean that you should just not decide to believe. So just because you don't know how doesn't mean that you shouldn't choose or decide to believe. We can't just negate it because we don't know how it's going to happen. So your guidance is divinely guided. You're being guided right now, even from higher self. You're going through a transformation. So that's what's going on. Don't freak out. I do see another opportunity coming in or something that's a little bit more ease. Remember that whatever you're getting yourself into is temporary because the person that you are is a creator here. And I do really strongly feel entrepreneurship vibes. And I know that's a scary word even to spell, but I just want to be clear that it's just being able to bring value to someone's life and then want to bring value back to yours, whether that's providing candles or sages for people or decks of cards. You're just deciding to give knowledge or information and in exchange, people will give you abundance for that. That's just simple business entrepreneurship. 
So even if it's a small endeavor, I do see that there is an opportunity here for you to create that. So it is taking you through a tower moment for you to see this for yourself, for you to go through this transformation for success. And if you say you want success, you must also be willing to do what it takes to follow success and have faith that success exists, meaning truly believing in it. The initiation, so that's what's happening. Your initiation is the one, so be on the lookout for the ones because it does make a difference when you're seeing one one. That means it's a start to a new journey, a start to seeing abundance differently, seeing money differently. Conclusions are within reach. So some of you are getting to the end of the tunnel. You're getting ready to see the light in a situation, uh, a specific, it seems like employment or worrying about some type of stability or structure, a personal issue resolves and reaches a resolution. So you're coming to conclusions, you're coming to personal resolutions, but it's really because you're coming into the truth of you and that you have the ability to change circumstances at a cellular level, meaning you have the ability to change your reality. The energy is gaining momentum. So the more you're starting to become aware of this, the more you're starting to kind of see what's coming. So, oh, I can, I can see the light. I can see the light and this is building up the momentum. So a lot of you are just turning a leaf right now. I do see success, but your success is a very beautiful, warm, homey success. It's, it's not just family. It's just love. It's gratitude. And I do see material success in your, in your future as well. Is there anything else for deck one? Is there anything else for deck one? Thank you. Yeah, it's coming in judgment so it is a spiritual awakening it is coming in it's just taking a little longer than usual some clarity some guidance around which career path remember to follow what brings you joy that is what they're saying also follow what brings you joy that is probably the biggest message that i have for you guys today is to trust that there's something much greater so all in all everything that is occurring and happening in your life is a I'm not even playing right now, you guys. I'm not playing, but there's a window in front of me and something is flying in the sky and it looks to me like money. I don't even know, but I just seen it. And it looks like, I don't know if it's a dollar bill, but it looks like money. So I feel like some of you guys are getting ready to have a blessing come your way. Holy moly, that's crazy. So do not lose faith in abundance and do not lose faith that you are being guided divinely. You are waking up to higher beliefs, better beliefs, more aligned beliefs around money and success in general. So deck number one, if this is you and you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to comment down below, like the video, let me know. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading in money, career path, and success. Leap of faith, the fool card. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. And already we have a message that is worthy. Already. Nine of Ariel. This is also luxury and success. Whoever you are, there is a deep richness of success and abundance that's on your life. And I don't say that lightly. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. Some of you are getting ready to experience or are experiencing a very happy feeling in your life or getting ready to. Let's see where this is headed because this is very, very beautiful. Change your life. Yeah, this is like miracles happen. This is what you've been waiting for. Some of you have been waiting for this. This change, so it says a sudden revelation that offers freedom, break free of procrastination. Some of you have been procrastinating. Some of you have taken the leap. Either way, what is this leap towards? More success more of your dreams being fulfilled. It says embrace the opportunities that change 
brings. So this change that's happening in your life, these things that are occurring around your financial situation are causing you to embrace other opportunities. It may not be easy to see because you're, you may be struggling with believing entirely in yourself, but that's where they're saying, we got you. Stand your ground. Have faith. That's what they're saying. Partnership and alliances. So some of you, just by changing and being more optimistic, a lot more things are happening in your life. More abundance is coming in. There's going to be a way that you receive abundance. And I don't, I don't think it's going to be something that you would normally receive it for. I feel like it's going to be a revelation where you're just like, whoa, this idea, I love to do this. And there's going to be some type of opportunity behind it, specifically with entrepreneurship. And I'm a firm believer that Source did create a lot of us to be self-sufficient. And that is, through that is through the opportunity of entrepreneurship. Patience and planning. So some of you know your soul, your spirit is just like, I know I'm supposed to have more. I have this feeling and this desire to be successful. It's just embedded in who I am. And we have to have patience twice. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. What are you doing? Start planning for the future. You got to get ready. Some of you have some big, big revelational changes. And it's all because you've believed in yourself and stood your ground. So let's see also what some blockages are. Now look at this, the creator and the master. The master, just so you know, is the joker of this deck. It's the extra tarot card from Osho, who is a spiritual guru. And so this is just who you are. You are just simply here to be abundant. It's just who you are. Um, it's not that, it's not coming from a place of greed. It's coming from a place of abundance, knowing that there is more for you to obtain. Keepers of earth, you are not alone, but there's something you're manifesting. So you're waking up energetic waves, a new way of being, being. you're integrating. Emotions are running high. Well, what's happening, deck two? Experience beyond illusion. Okay. So you guys are being tested, not in a bad way. It's almost testing your ability to believe in yourself. So a lot of the circumstances in your life are specific obstacles that your fears have created. And I know that sounds crazy, but if you see it like this, you must believe in yourself. And the reasons why you don't or the reasons for your hindrance of believing in yourself needs to be addressed because they are not true. What you believe to be real, your dreams, those are real. But there is a burden that you are carrying. Work through your fears. Scorpio, three of swords. Work through your fears of things not working out exactly how you wanted it. In the past, they're saying specifically that that does not have to be the same way that it happens again. So a lot of you are, are having fears of failure is what I'm hearing. And that is one of your greatest fears is failure that mm, maybe I'm not abundant. Look at this person, King of Pentacles doubting himself. Just so you know, the King of Pentacles, this, this guy, this girl guy doesn't matter, but the energy of this person is a leader in finances who makes decisions. This is a CEO. This is an entrepreneur. So what is the burden? The burden is going back and forth of, am I abundant or what makes me so special? Why do I think that I deserve this abundance? It is just simply who you are. And that's what it comes down to. But you have to believe that in yourself. And I feel like that's kind of where the disappointment comes in. It's it's going back and forth, it, even mentally, of, of is this my life? Am I meant to create and have more? And if so, then why is it taking so long? Patience. Four of Wands. Things are working themselves out. They're coming into unity. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you do 
have a partnership. You may have already experienced this, having partnerships like in a business setting with your significant other. You could be married, you could be in a relationship, or maybe you've experienced this. If not, you're definitely experiencing this. Your partner is also and will have the resonance of abundance. Now, this doesn't mean material things. Yes, abundance in material could make sense, but you can have abundance in love. You can have an abundance of patience. So remember, abundance, using it as more of an adjective, as a description, okay? So you do have an abundant financial relationship. Both of you do have a connection through that and manifestation is what I'm hearing. For those of you who are into the twin flame type of thing, that would be the dynamic of this relationship or even a soulmate. It's just genuinely a partner that you have that you may go into business with or will help you with business, specifically business ideas. Yeah, look at this, the Knight of Wands. So something is coming in that you've been procrastinating. It's some type of It's some type of project or passion that you have, but it's coming through excitement. It's not coming through something that you're just thinking about all day. It just dawns on you. So don't stress about that. Knight of Pentacles. I do see more money coming in. Let's see what's blocking it because I do see that Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Usually when you have a Knight in reverse, that means that it is either really going fast or just there's a halt. So let's see what this money halt is. I'm also hearing that it's just what they're saying is it's simply also believing in just standing your ground that this is who I am. I am abundant and I will follow my heart to abundance. It's making a decision on who you will be in this lifetime. Even those of you who are leaving employment, some of you are being challenged to trust yourself in your self-sufficiency. Trust yourself to be able to create your own stream of income. If anything, nothing more than all that we're learning this year is that we should not depend so greatly on another company to provide for us and our family financially. All of us have gifts and talents. We all have something to offer. There is enough abundance to go around. So that's also something that I'm hearing is changing your beliefs around lack and scarcity, not having enough. Okay. These beliefs, these old beliefs are, are burdening you from receiving more in your life. So what's the halt? What's the financial halt for debt to? From the time, what's the halt? Thank you. <clears throat> Two of swords. Make a decision. You see this person's like this blindfold. It says this way or that way, make a decision. And so I do think that in order for you to get here, focusing on the things that you're curious about, what you love to do, even if it's simple, they're also saying, do not overcomplicate this deck number two, do not overcomplicate this. Any other messages in finances? Yeah. So some, some of you may be waiting for communication. If yes, some of you are waiting for communication for a job opportunity or just a, an, an inspiration. Yeah. And hope. Yeah. Something different. I think that a lot of you are experiencing this desire for something different. Deck number two, I want to hear, um, or what I hear for you, deck number two, very clearly is to focus on the things that bring you joy, focus on the things that bring you passion, that you're curious, that you want to learn more about. We have Aquarius energy here, but the star card in reverse, it's going to have to be the things that you care the most about. There's a little bit of self-awareness here. I feel like that you're going to learn that will benefit you before the leap of faith. So you're getting ready to take the leap of faith, but you're also learning more things about yourself. And you must, what I'm hearing very strongly is accept your ability to be abundant. Yeah. The full card again. So yeah, I do see an abundant situation coming in. So a lot of you have opportunities, projects, things that have been on hold of pro or procrastination. You've been planning very diligently, start getting excited about those things, start sharing them with, with more people. Start being open more to expressing yourself. 
I feel like once you get that hope back, maybe you guys already went through this, but again, it's the doubting, the doubting of oneself. That's what I'm seeing. That's biggest concern here, deck number two. So I'm hoping that this brought you guys clarity. If you did choose deck number two, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what to expect in money, career path, and success. Overall, King of Michael, Eight of Ariel. I'm hearing that some of you are not ready to take the next step because of the lack of belief in your ability. Some of you feel like you might need more education to do a specific job or that whatever it is that you're doing currently is not manifesting uh, it seems like you're on hold with a lot of things. But I do see something working out here. Most importantly, so right now, a lot of you are going through an evolution when it comes to your abilities. Some of you doubt the abilities that you have. They're saying that with more practice, that you don't really need more practice. It's more of just faith that you are ready for this position in your life, that you're ready to succeed, that you're deserving of this position. I feel a lot of self-sabotaging doubts as well. So there is positive movement forward, but there are some things that you are dealing with in order to raise your vibration. So there is some emotional things that you're going through that are blocking you abundantly. So for instance, if you're going through a financial deficit, it is hard to focus on finding a new job opportunity or trying a new business endeavor or becoming this king, ultimately, someone who is very high principled and rational and ambitious and respected for abundance and finances in, in their life. You are being called to be a leader. Some of you guys could even be that more responsible one in the family maybe you're not or maybe you want to be but i am feeling that some of you it is just coming from the doubt of your ability to be able to achieve these things that you want in life the high priestess yeah this is about knowing who you are i do see that there's prosperity in your life i do see that there's triumph and success and i also feel like this is just tuning in to who you are what do you need to release? A new romantic cycle begins. So this is a lot of emotional things that have caused certain financial situations in your life is what I want to say. So some of you are being asked to step out of your comfort zone. Get into more tune with what you truly want in life. Because some of you may feel like you want material things, but this is a deeper fulfillment that I'm sensing for you, deck number three. This is a beginning to you becoming yourself and finding yourself. This feels like discovery, soul discovery, and what it is that you really want. Some of you feel like you want money, but it's really freedom that you're desiring. Money just gives you the access to more freedom. But also, I like to see money as an enhancer to happiness, to fulfillment. So sometimes we think it's the money that brings happiness, but it's not. Money just enhances. If you have more money, you can go on a trip tomorrow at any time, stay anywhere you want to, be gone for as long as you want to. That's what money allows for you to do. It just gets you right to that happiness. Whereas people who didn't have it, as abundantly had to wait to book vacations, had to wait to take time off. So it is an enhancer to happiness, but never get it confused with your fulfillment and 
happiness itself. So you're being called to step up to more abundance and authority over your financial situation. Taking accountability for your financial situation and understanding that you have the wisdom and the objectivity to work out a situation in a very respectable way. You are ready, basically is what they're saying. So I do feel like once you accept that you're ready and opportunity is getting ready to come in, we have Capricorn energy here, lots of patience. Some of you have waited too long to make some of these decisions around financial constraints or things that are just preventing you from being financially free. So you're being called to step up and sometimes with leadership and stepping up, it makes you have to be to become more accountable. Justice, Libra energy, so being more responsible, being more independent, not having to depend on others as much. There's a sense of independence here that you're learning. And this is going to give you the prosperity that you're looking for. This is what spirit wants you to kind of understand before that forward movement. But it's going to cause you to have to end some things with the Ten of Swords. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, coming back to yourself in moderation, being connected to still understanding that your joy and happiness is just as important as how much money you make. Because you can make a lot of money and not be happy. Or you can be happy and not make a lot of money. It seems that you're looking for a balance. And that's where spirit is trying to get you to. Okay? So it's going to require you to make a decision and an active decision. And last but not least, page of cups. So I do feel like opportunity is coming in. As far as your career path, they're saying that you will find more positive forward movement, more prosperity, and more joy when you step out of your comfort zone, try something new, you will be surprised at what you will find. But in order to do that, they're saying follow your joy and happiness. Anything else for deck number three? Thank you. Anything else? Yeah, eight of cups, walking away in temperance. Getting back into alignment with self. Getting back into that person that is in authority over their financial situation and trusts that they are connected to divine emperor. Yeah, so you're waking up more to leadership, more assertiveness, speaking up, communicating, feeling confident. Some of you want just simple promotions at, at work or simple promotions in business. And that is becoming more confident in being the manager or the director or who's keeping the show running. You know, who's keeping the lights on? So a lot of you are taking on more responsibility. And I feel like maybe you're, you feel like you might not be qualified or you're not ready for maybe entrepreneurship. But remember, you, you are called to do this. You are called to step up and lead your own life abundantly. And then you will help others do the same, of course, because this is not, we have temperance here. These are two spiritual cards here. So this has to do with a lot of the things that you are meant to do here, spirit knows that there is an abundance that goes with that. Okay. The moon Pisces. We have a lot of energy on the board here. A lot of emotional influences that have been affecting your financial situation, specifically relationships. Okay. There has been a lot of emotional things going on that kind of knocked you out of alignment. So I do feel like some things needed to be released, some beliefs needed to be worked through. Getting back to yourself in alignment with you is giving you more triumph. So you're leading into more prosperity, more success. We have a lot of Sagittarius energy on the board. So if you guys are Sagittarius, I know that this year there has been a tremendous abundant change in Sagittarius energy. So you guys are becoming more leaders, more of tapping into your own ability as the high priestess to create your own stream of income so that you can obtain financial freedom and not just finances, okay? That's what you're learning. That's what this is all about. And I just see that you're getting ready to come into a place of more relief, more peace, and more of an establishment of being able to trust in something higher than yourself so that you're not carrying all of this worry and stress. And, you know, getting back in closer with higher self and source. All right, so if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. Overall, you're becoming more confident 
and more understanding and certain of you being ready, ready for success, ready to triumph, ready for independence, ready to create opportunities for yourself and not waiting for opportunities to come to you. If you guys chose deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading in money, career, and success. Let's see what you guys got. Queen of Ariel, I love it. I already felt the wealth. Right when I held the stone, I already knew. So you are becoming or are waking up to realizing that you are the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles is mature, practical, generous, and happy. But I like to see the queen of pentacles of someone who establishes wealth for herself or his self, establishes financial success for themselves. So nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful practical and wise advice. So beauty is also something that is a part of your success. Now that is just desiring the beautiful things in life, desiring the better things. It's not that you're bougie, it's just better quality of things, right? It's just better quality of things. And who doesn't want the best? And it is so, and it is perfectly, sorry, <clears throat> just really excited. And it is perfectly okay to want more abundance in your life, as long as you understand that more money does not mean more happiness. And I think that you've already learned that or you're learning that. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, awards, scholarships, and promotions. So yes, a lot of you have learned a lot of lessons around money, a lot of understanding that money doesn't make you happy, and money is not the root of happiness. A lot of you had to realize that for yourself and also get a little bit of experience in some emotional things that would bring happiness, connecting the dots for you. So spiritual strength, love it. Material and spiritual prosperity. Like I said, your spirit in abundance are connected in some sense where you desire to manifest beautiful things in your reality. You love to dream of, of beautiful things in the sense of sunsets or seeing different states or traveling to different countries. There is a lot of abundance that is here. And so it's a spiritual quest that has led you here and that is continuously leading you to abundance. And when I say abundance, this is more wealth, heartache and loss. Let's see what that's about. A new start, one new start. Boundaries, where do you need to establish better boundaries? Boundaries around what? Trust. You trusting yourself is very important for you to be able to establish wealth and abundance in your life. You're gonna be making a lot of decisions that will need certainty and clarity. So it's very important that the people that are around you are following the truth or they are truthful with themselves. This will save you the heartache of trusting the wrong people because I do see that there is wealth coming in and there is a little bit of conflict around. And, and it's not that, it's more so people's motives when it comes to wealth or money around you. All right orchestra so this is just who you were here to become this manifester of abundance and it also says you've been training for this for lifetimes i also feel like you guys have a generous heart and that's so damn important if you are chosen to be a fountain of abundance for the world and the, the ones around you simply the ones around you and so if you are completely open to releasing, and I'm hearing this very strongly, deck number four, if you are open to releasing and giving, the more you are giving, the more you are receiving. It's very important that you understand that. Those who give are abundant. So you must be yourself. And yourself is so abundant that giving does not take from you. This is a deeper place of wealth and abundance in your life that you're walking into. When people say rich, this is rich. And I know what I'm talking about. Hmm. 
You have the ability to make anything more beautiful. Remember that. Just say yes to the new start. But it's just that you are going to be releasing some friendships. The takers. The, hey, can I get, hey, can I borrow? Hey, can I, hey, can you stay extra two hours again? Hey, can you stay at work? It's boundaries, confidence. We have Leo energy. Confidence is your key to success. Confident in what? The truth that you are knowing who you are. Abundant. Confident in the truth of you being abundant and successful. That is what brings you success. That is what creates the reality. Simply because you have confidence that you are this person. Your commitment is being tested though. And sometimes it may feel like, maybe I'm not the queen of pentacles. Maybe I'm just the knight. Maybe this wasn't this lifetime. No, these are things to get you grounded in your beliefs. You must be so grounded and certain about who you are that even when you're tested, you're not tested. You pass it with flying colors. This is a breeze. Oh, that was the test? That's the way that it should be. Compromise, more giving. There are some things in your life you might have to compromise to get things going. That is totally fine. Just be aware that even if you let go of things now and sacrifice things now, you will reap and harvest 10 times more. So they're saying that conditioning the devil, breaking some codependencies, relying on other people, relying on other companies, other jobs. This is a heavy deck. This is a heavy load of abundance that's waiting for you spiritually that wants to be manifested. Okay. Abundance. I wish, I wish I knew that this card was coming out. I wouldn't be as excited for you because damn playfulness. So have fun. Focus on the things that bring joy and happiness. That's where you're most naturally going to be your greatest. Happiness is so important to abundance. They are one. That's why we keep confusing the money situation. Money is just a tool. Do not compare yourself with others. Well, should I have more or maybe I'm not. Focus on you, focus on your growth. There's no such thing as competition around you. The one who wins is the one who works on themselves the most. Everyone else is already limited. They limit themselves. We know that people limit themselves. So why would we focus on other why so why would so why would we compare and focus on us and them? I'm dropping, I'm telling you, this is game for you guys. Free game. Hashtag free game down below if you guys are deck number four. Because we're barely eight minutes into this, six minutes in. And I'm already five, the outsider. So no more window shopping. I talked about this in my last pick a card. You may have got that deck as well. No more window shopping realities. No more, oh, I'm watching other people live the dream I want to live. Practical. It's like make it practical. That's what makes you the queen is that you can dream, but you now have to know that you have the ability to also create here what you can touch, not just what you can dream. So you are becoming, you are becoming a head honcho for of wands participation, the magician, man, I think that the magician came up a lot today. A lot of you are magicians. If you chose this deck deck number four, I talked about magic. You cannot manifest magic or the dream you're window shopping if you don't know that you're the magician. Just imagine this little person looking outside the gate of the life that they want to live, not knowing that the whole time you're the magician. You're the magician. That's what you're waking up to step by step, <laughs> step by step, the stairway to heaven. Okay. There's steps. The Empress, so your creator, definitely entrepreneurship vibes. Ten of Pentacles, come on, guys, this is wealth. This is legacy. This is family. This is a this is desires of your heart coming true. This is too good to be true. Some of you guys are gonna think it's too good to be true, but do not get greedy. Do not do not hoard out of fear of not having more. Do not hoard out of a fear of not having more. That's what blocks the flow. Okay, that's that's signaling off lack. The world traveling, more traveling. 
Remember the beauties of the world, those things that make the world heaven, those are the most dearest things to you that are going to create abundance in your life. And some of you, the answers to your business ideas in the 10 of cups. I almost want to just send the video out to everyone and tell them to pick this deck. Not that any deck is worse, but I guess this is the one that makes me the most excited. It's inspirational. You have the 10 of pinnacles and the 10 of cups. I don't even need to clarify. This is just ultimate happiness simply because you believed in it. I want to see why this is. You are a walking magician. Whether you want to believe that or not, it is still the truth. It is still the truth. All right, let's see. What's all this from? What is all this from? Five of Cups. It's almost justice for some of you. A lot of you went through a lot of things in your life that really either hurt you or was a fight to overcome. A lot of you have very inspiring messages that you will share with others, even about your journey to more success and more happiness in your life. I do feel like that you will teach people about generosity, giving and receiving keeps you abundant. There's a lot of wealth here. There's a lot of rich, riches here. We have the Empress and we have the Magician. You are a creator by nature. This is literally what you're here to do. It is amazing and beautiful. Remember that you're also the child because we have the playfulness. And so you never grew up. You're still that child that was excited to have an ambitious and an imagination for creating and living your dreams. Remember when we're kids, we don't know. We just, we want to invent things and we want to do these things until someone says, yeah, but you have to. And then they tell us the rules and we're like, oh man, you're still that kid. So they're saying, go back to that place of childhood. Those things that still brought you excitement and inspiration, even the simplest beauty, even the simplest beautiful things in the world are a part of you. You will create a lot of success. You will give a lot to people. You have such a beautiful heart. If you haven't waken up to this person just yet, this is who you're becoming. Some of you know that this is you. You have to find your spiritual strength. You had a lot to release, a lot to go through. It's a beautiful story, beautiful journey. And the whole time you've had a council of light. So now it's just accepting that, dang, I guess I am great. I guess I don't have to convince myself that maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Maybe I didn't grow up with the best family to create abundance. Maybe I was, maybe I'm too poor. Maybe I was too broken. Maybe I don't deserve this. All of those things are going out the window. And this is helping you embrace who you're becoming, a manifester of abundance. So if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading. I hope I was able to give you some clarity and some guidance because this deck, this deck was juicy. This, this is just like a too good to be true. And I know that that's how you're going to feel too, which is a good feeling because we should be living our dreams every day. We should wake up and say, wow, I feel like I'm living in a dream because my life is so amazing and so damn happy. But remember to have gratitude also. If you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. Hashtag I am abundant for some words of encouragement back to you guys. Thank you for tuning in to this pick a card reading. I'm so excited to deliver these messages. In the meantime, stay tuned for my next pick a card reading. I'm out. Love and light.